Hey guys, we're back and we're going after them good crappie. We're going to see if we can catch some good ones today. We're going to be using that Johnson Beetle Spin, a Bobby Garland, and a live minnow. Let's see what we can do. Here it goes, look at that. Oh yeah. We got you. Oh yeah. Easy there, fella. Oh yeah. White crappie. Yeah, somebody was asking me about the white crappie and the black crappie. If you notice, white crappie got these lines running down them. And they also have five to six dorsal fins. And a black crappie has seven to eight. And the white crappie is usually longer. And the black crappie is more fat. He's more rounded. And another thing they don't tell you, but I've noticed... These white crappie, their mouth is a little bit bigger than a black crappie. I like if you take a one pound white crappie and a one pound black crappie, the white crappie, he has the bigger mouth. But that's what I've noticed about them myself. But yeah, that's uh, black crappie also have specks on them. That some people call them specks. And, uh, you know, they're kind of like a camo pattern, like a digicam. I got some crappie in some of my other videos where the crappie looked just like a like somebody spray painted with the digicam in some of my uh, early beetle spin videos anyway we got him later there he is oh man dandy dandy crappie <laughs> man guys look at this Old beetle spin struck good. That's a good one. I'm talking that's a crappie. Look at that baby. As long as my from my hand to my elbow. Wow. Let's give him a little little uh, length check on him. Uh close his mouth. He is almost 15 inches. What do you think a crappie like that weighs? And see, this is a white crappie. You can see the vertical lines on him. His mouth, see how big his mouth is? That's what I was telling you. They, they got some big mouths, and they're long. Real long compared to the black crappie. But anyway, we'll give him a little weigh in. Man, look at that dude. He's a thick old back crappie, and he's big. Old beetle spin got him. We're gonna give him a try here. Easy guy. Oh, easy now. Come on. I just need to get a check on you. Looks like uh, one, 163, guys. He's a good one. <laughs> He's almost a pound and three quarter. But man, that's a pretty crappie. That is one pretty crappie. I'll take him. I know a lot of people don't understand this river system that I'm fishing. This is a lake, but it's a river fed lake, which means the Cache River rises up and fills all the creeks and the creeks rise up and run into the lakes. Then when the Cache River goes down, the uh, creeks drain and the lake holds a certain amount of water. It, drain, it gets lower too, but it still holds water. So normally this thing's about eight foot higher than it is right now. For the last four years, our river system's been high. Uh, you know, off and on, it, mostly high. And it's down right now, but it's coming right back up. So all this is fixing to be flooded. All of this is going to be flooded because the river's jumping right now. It'll probably take probably three or four days to start rising in here. But once it starts rising, it, it'll be all way back in through the woods. But that's what, what I'm doing is fishing these lakes before the river gets up, back up in them. But it's an up and down thing all year long, most of the time. Yes, especially if you're getting a lot of rain. If we get rain up north of our river system, it, it flows into the river, then raises these, and it starts all over again. Uh-oh, what we got here? Whoa, that thing's pulling. <laughs> uh, 
I'm not sure yet. I almost said he was a bass, but I'm not sure. He's a big fish. Oh yeah, he's a bass. That's a pretty good bass. <laughs> Look at that dude. Uh, yeah, he's a good one. <laughs> wow. So hook out of there. Yeah, that's a good bass. Old beetle spin got him another bass. Man, that's a solid bass right there. Look at that. Thick old back on him. Mm-hmm. I might as well see what he weighs too. I'm thinking he's about two and a half at least. Get that zero rolled out. He's a three pounds, 3.02. That's a pretty good bass, guys. All right, guys, later. Oh, was that an old crappie? It was an old crappie right here beside me. Boom, there he is. Oh. He ain't half bad. <laughs> I say that's a pretty good one. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a pretty good crappie there, guys. Oh, white crappies—they're a lot longer. But it's hard for me to tell how much they weigh because of that. But I'm gonna give him a little weight just to see. I think he's close to a pound. 90 he's he's close so when they get a little bit bigger than that they're a pounder but yeah that's a pretty crappie right there another good one i'll take you I got him. I thought I'd lost him, but I got him. <laughs> now he's a he's a little dude. I mean, he's probably legal, but another white crappie. Later. go ahead and get one at this tree before I get too close you never know there might be one laying around that old tree oh he's there too is it a crappie or a bass <laughs> might be a bass he's fighting pretty aggressive yeah <laughs> another bass Oh yeah, another, another decent little bass here. Beetle, spin, uh, beetle spin strikes again on a bass. They're liking it. Bass, beetle spin in a minute. All right, guys. Here's the lure I'm using. It's a one sixteenth ounce beetle spin, a one sixteenth ounce jig head hook, and a pearl white bobby garland baby shad jig and a live minnow what i like to do guys when i got when i'm using these beetle spins i like to hook this minnow these live minnows right there's a little spot right there behind his eyes if you go through there it will hold i mean the minnow probably die but the beetle spin is going to swim it for you but that that minnow will stay on there really good while you're casting i don't hardly ever lose them minnows until i catch a fish so that's a good place to hook them ah 
Ah, he... Something had it. I don't know what it was. We're going to give him another little try right there, though. He just grabbed it. I never felt him thump it. But he, he was holding it. Boom! There he is. That's a little bitty crappie. <laughs> there, there was a crappie there. Finally got a little bitty one to bite. Well, there we go. That, and that's a little bitty one too. Later. When you grow up a little bit bigger. <laughs> but it don't look I'm going to get a bite off of there. I thought I was going to catch me one more, but don't look like it. Boom, and let it sink. There he is. I did catch that another one. And he's a, yeah, he's a, he's a keeper. That's not a bad crappie. And I finally caught uh, what I was trying to catch a while ago. I got a black crappie. Now you see the spotty, the spots on the black crappie? He got seven to eight of these pokey fins up here. And then his mouth is a little smaller, but he's more rounded than the white crappie. But yeah, I, sometimes they got a pattern. The real dark ones, they look like digicam. It's pretty cool. But yeah. Yeah, we're going to keep him. All right, guys, I want to tell you Happy New Year. I hope you have a wonderful year this year. May you catch a whole bunch of fish. It's, it's a lot. Oh, that's a, that's a fish. Oh. <laughs> that's a good fighter, Roy. <laughs> I got him, though.